When the water tank arrived, the truck pulled up right beside the tower. We were anticipating just lifting it right up and put on top of the tower, but it soon become evident that wasn't going to work. Hi everyone, this is Steve Bell from Shoes for Water. We're at Songlet. It's a school here, and uh, it's in the district of Eldoret. Uh, we got the water tank here. This is a 10,000 gallon uh, water tank. The, the, what is so good about this is that because they have dirty water in this area, they can take and pump the water straight up into the tank and it be filled up with 10,000 gallons of dirty water and then they can treat it chemically and then it's able to be drunk. We don't always have to drill a well. This is a cheap way to, to bring water to Kenya. And the, when we have the opportunity, we take this kind of opportunity to uh, transform an entire community. There are thousands of people in this area. This school has about 700 students. There are two schools. There's a primary and a secondary school, but together it's about 700 students. And we're excited to see what's happening here at uh, this school called Songit. And uh, God bless each and every one of you for helping us with raising those shoes at shoesforwater.org. Thank you very much. When it became evident that we weren't going to be able to just roll up beside the tank and lift it up on top, we had to come up with another idea. This is what we come up with. We'd build a ramp, tie a rope to it, tie the rope to the tank and to a 4x4 four four on the other side and pull it up, uh, letting the bulk of the weight rest on the, on the vehicle. As you will soon see that even these plans don't always work as the way we plan. This is a real live mission trip. Things don't always go right. Well, everybody was very disappointed that the tank fell over, but not to be dismayed. Uh, they came up with another plan to try to uh, make it uh, come up there a little bit better. I believe that is a very doable thing. Uh, with, with the help of our friends that are out there supporting us now, if you will just take this video and share it with your friends and uh, relatives, uh, people at work, just talk about it. Uh, that's how we've grown. We've grown by word of mouth. And uh, we can certainly uh, accomplish the task of bringing water to this area. We not only want to bring water to this area where these schools are at, but we also want to do other areas as well. And with a drill rig, we can accomplish 10 times more than we accomplished this year. And you can see that we really have worked hard to accomplish uh great things with the shoes that you've donated. Thank you very much for each and every one of you that have participated. I forgot to mention that uh, also in this particular area where these two schools are at, that they do not have a library and that's a big concern for them and uh, since we're going to be shipping a, uh, a drill rig next year, uh, at the same time, if there are people out there who have uh, used computers that you'd like to donate, 
our school books, English books, math books, uh, uh, African history books, that that kind of thing. If if you'd like to donate those to Shoes for Water, you can give us a call here at the office at 864-230-5984, and we'll make sure that they get to the school next year so that they can have a, a library. Thank you. Ini 